Oh, uh, rigid, yeah, so easy, wasn't it? Easy when you, you, you know what you're doing. Um, example three, I've just created this one. Yeah, of course, if the file's being used by Excel, there's no way another uh, software's going to open the um, document, is there? That's why it said fail to create. So th this is the um, file. I've just gone ahead and got rid of all the, the stuff which you don't need out of the, the, the file. Um, I mean, there may, may well be other things in here, but this is the general gist of it. So you can see some part numbers in here, which we've got. The reason the uh, X and Y were zero, because your original CAD file, let's have a look at it. You see your original CAD file has got millimeter in here. So I've taken out all the millimeters. Just quickly uh, click on find and replace all. Literally took a second. Okay, so here it is. So let's, let's go ahead and import this one more time. Import. Example 3. Yep, we'll close it down first because it won't work, will it? Example 3, delimiter, open, gives you the message about long syntax thing, change the orientation of the CAD, put in the origin if there is one, reference, description, x, y, here we are, theta, and last of all, part name, import, part name, um, uh, yeah, that's because we've imported it into a current program, so it realizes these, these part num numbers already. So let's just create a new one. We've not put it back to the main database. So we'll go through that one more time. Import three delimiter okay okay reference description x you know this by now theta part name change this one import here we are doesn't know what they are because we've not saved any to the database quickly go through this uh, we'll do it this way around again or we'll just do it this way, we know already. 603. What have we got? These two caps here this time, look. Add them. 0805. Couple there. No idea what the last one is. We'll just put that down as... There's no part name anyway. There you go. So now you can see your part numbers in here. These these don't have any. You can still allocate them, or you could go through. You can go through it this way and manually manually set them all. But yeah, you're better off having them in your CAD file to start with. So there you go. That's that's the way to do it. You can see here actually your X has gone positive because we changed the, the CAD flowing from left to right. And your Y is still negative. We've left that flowing from bottom right to top, top right. 